Uh, so, yeah. and same thing today. We're not getting snow for a bit. No, we're not. We're going to have a nice dry stretch through this week. So that is something uh, to enjoy if you maybe are going to get those holiday decorations up a little early. We have temperatures, though, cold at least the first couple days this week. 24 at 8 o'clock this morning, partly sunny skies through noon will be near 35. And then at 5 o'clock, mostly sunny and 37 degrees. The winds are going to pick up this afternoon. So while it's not too breezy out there right now, it'll become a touch breezy with those winds coming in between 10 and 20 miles per hour. And in the evening, we'll drop back down to 35 through 7 o'clock. So it is a chilly start to the week. We're going to be dry th really through Thanksgiving. And we get a warming trend as the week goes on, too. So today will be our coldest day. And then each day, those temperatures go up a little bit. In fact, as we head towards Thanksgiving, we're actually going to be pushing those temperatures back above normal. So for the holiday, we'll end up being partly sunny and mostly dry. There's maybe a 20% chance of a late day shower, but a high near 58 degrees, pretty nice for the holiday. Right now, our satellite radar loop showing the clouds overhead and just a few returns showing up to the west, working through, uh, probably not making it to the ground. But if it does, it's just going to be a flurry as we zoom out. There's really not much going on across the region back to the west those clouds begin to break up so even though we're starting with clouds we will gradually become mostly sunny during the afternoon hours our temperatures however are cold but they were even colder when we had a little bit of clearing earlier we dropped down to 19 degrees uh, again through those overnight hours but right now we're up to 26 we've got a south wind at 8 that gives us a wind chill in the teens so it does feel like 18 degrees if you're standing out in the breeze and a lot of spots are hanging in the mid 20s we do have a couple in the low 20s it's 23 in Bell Fountain, 22 in Troy, and 23 down towards Wilmington, 25 this morning in Eaton and in Richmond. A cold across the board with those below normal readings. Future Track does have some clouds around through the morning, but you can see how they decrease for the afternoon. So by 4 or 5 o'clock, we're looking at mostly clear skies. And overnight starts off mostly clear, but we'll see some clouds roll in as we do become partly cloudy through tomorrow morning. And we'll see a mix of sun and clouds for your Tuesday, starting off partly cloudy at 7 a.m. But we go towards 1 o'clock in the afternoon, still a few clouds around. A touch warmer tomorrow than today, and not as breezy as we're going to be this afternoon. We'll be up near 40, partly to eventually mostly sunny and chilly with that southwest wind increasing. Overnight lows going to drop to 28. It'll be partly cloudy. And then tomorrow afternoon, right back up to 45. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds and a light breeze, so it'll be nice tomorrow. And even nicer on Wednesday for the big travel day, a high of 54, partly sunny. We don't expect any precipitation Wednesday. If there's the slightest chance on Thanksgiving, that late day will have a spotty shower. But the better chance is going to come as we head into Friday. That's a cold front coming through on our big shopping day, unfortunately, uh, with temperatures dropping then for the upcoming weekend.